Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to make windshield wipers last longer. I'll be going over some easy ways and easy things that you can do to make your windshield wipers hopefully last longer by a significant amount. And it's just, these are just best practices, okay? So let's get right into the video. Number one is lift the wiper blade arms up before it snows. If you live somewhere where it snows, especially if you get significant snowfalls, you want to do this, okay? Now, a lot of people do this because it will make it easier to clean their windshield. Um, I don't do it for that reason because I always auto start my car and let it defrost before I get in it I do it to preserve the windshield wiper blades okay so the arm that the windshield wiper sits on can be sort of raised up and lowered down if you know it's gonna snow raise it up before it snows and just you know when your car is parked leave it parked with the windshield wiper arms raised up um, that will prevent the blades the wiper blades from sort of sitting on the ice and, and getting very icy which shortens their lifespan as far as I'm concerned. Now, just to be clear, these are just best practices and things that I've thought about and learned through my research, but I, you know, I'm not a windshield wiper manufacturer or anything like that, so I don't know about the, the compounds that they use or, or how they're made or anything like that. These are just things that, through my research, that I've sort of discovered and the things that I do as well as a best practice, okay? Number two is clean off the ice from the wipers, okay? If your wipers have ice built up on them, you want to clean off that ice before before you use them okay now that can be something as simple as turning on uh, your you know windshield defroster while your windshield wiper arms are just sort of resting or the while the windshield wiper blades are resting on the windshield and then getting outside with you know gloves on and sort of just pulling off the ice from the windshield wipers you want to try and pull off that ice before you actually use the windshield wiper uh, blades I thought there was something on my shoulder now I'm realizing it's just um, a sun mark either on the camera or on my shoulder. I can't tell. But in the viewfinder, yeah, I think it's, uh, I can't tell. But anyways, uh, without that distraction in mind, we're going to move on to number three. The third thing that you can do is scrape the ice off of um off of the windshield before using the wipers i used to do something that i think is really bad okay i'm gonna tell you the truth when my when my windshield was icy i would just hold down the wiper fluid but uh, lever and just <laughs> let those wipers just scrape scrape that ice off and that like is literally like just deteriorating at the quality or the condition um, of the wipers. It's a horrible thing to do. I, you know, I was young and, and I guess a bit lazy. I just wa didn't want to get out of the car into the cold weather and scrape the windshield. But the third thing is scrape the windshield get rid of all the ice before you use the wipers so before you and this is just a safety practice anyways but don't scrape the windshield with your wipers by just sending them back and forth with wiper fluid it's not good it deteriorates the wipers trust me my wipers lasted a very short amount of time because i did you know things like that okay um but i'm past that now number four is avoid using your wipers when they're dry now this is one that i read about and I mean, generally as a rule of thumb, uh, I don't do this anyways, but this is something that I read about and it makes a lot of sense. The wipers, I'm going to guess, are made out of some sort of rubbery type of material. I don't know if it's rubber or a rubbery compound, okay? <laughs> but, you know, if you take rubber and you're rubbing it when it's dry, compared to taking rubber and rubbing it when it's wet, you know, when it's wet, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot less friction. So when it rains on your windshield and use your wipers, you know, they're moving when they're wet, which it seems like it's okay, totally fine. But if I was to just turn my windshield wipers on right now, when my windshield is dry, probably not the best idea because it causes more friction. So like I said, this is just something that I read about. So yeah. Um, lastly is number five, which is don't go for longer than a few days without getting them wet. Now, like I said, this is also something that I found out through my research, but I cannot attest to it personally. Although I basically spray my windshield and use my wipers 
every time I'm beginning to drive. Um, just because sometimes in the summer, the pollen in my area is significant, so it ends up all on the windshield, right? Uh, and the dust, you know, like just in general, I just like a clean windshield. But it kind of makes sense that if you let that rubbery compound dry out, it's gonna deteriorate them a bit faster. So like I said, I cannot attest to the science behind this, but I can say that it does logically make sense that if you let them stay super dry and dry them out, that the rubbery uh, material will probably deteriorate faster. So just, you know, get them wet every few days. Like I said, what I do is before I drive every time, I spray my windshield and I turn my wipers on for just a few passes. So they end up getting wet every day pretty much. Um, just because that's, I like a super clean windshield. That's just how I am, okay? Um, anyways, that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.